Examples of variable costs include utilities, so your gas, your electric, and your water bill. It's going to be different every month. You do know you have to pay it every month, so you still have to account for it, but you have no idea how much it's going to be. Um, there's no way to say, I'm going to make sure it's $100 every single month. Um, some other variable costs include paper, ink, and other printing supply costs. Now, I don't have to budget for these costs because the customer pays for them. So we talked about cost centers and creating a BHR, and we create a BHR to cover all of our cost centers, not just the cost center that, they, that the customer thinks they're paying for. Um, but a customer, let's say that the customer A picks a really expensive paper and customer B chooses a really cheap paper. They know that they're paying for premium paper, so they're going to have a higher cost for paper. So those costs, we don't have to in, incorporate into our yearly budgets because if I don't sell any printing jobs, I don't have to buy any paper. And when I do buy paper, the customer is going, going to directly pay for that. Um, some other variable costs include salaries of hourly and commission-based workers, only if they only get paid if they work. So, well, that's kind of a, an obvious statement there. But if, if someone works hourly and they work 40 hours a week hourly, and for some reason you do not want them to be salaried, but they work every single week and they get paid vacation, you can budget for that. It's a fixed cost. But if they only work, you know, two hours this week and 15 hours next week, and it's always different, then it would be a variable cost. And then commission is, is always a variable cost because you never know how much you're going to sell. One month you might sell $4 million worth of printing, and the next month you might only sell $200,000. So it is um, a variable cost. Um, your delivery costs are also variable, but we don't have to budget for those because just like paper and ink, we don't deliver unless we print, and if we print, we give the customer a bill for the delivery charge. Um, we have to budget, however, for equipment breakdown and maintenance, and we have no idea when the press is going to break down or equipment's going to break down, a computer, a server might blow, something like that. So you have to, um, you have to budget for it and make sure you have money to fix the equipment but you never know how much it's going to cost or when it's going to break, and that makes it variable. So, uh, when budgeting with fixed costs, uh, it is a very straightforward formula. Uh, we take the monthly cost times the number of payments that are made in one year, and we get the total cost for the entire year. So, if we pay $500 a month for our truck to deliver printed goods, we multiply that times 12 months in a year, and we get the total operating budget that that cost center needs. So, if we go through an example, how much should Jones Printing Company budget annually for one year for their building lease? They've signed an agreement to pay $5,250 per month for the next six years. So we take the amount they pay per month, which is $5,250, multiply it by 12 months in one year, and we get $63,000 is how much they need to budget just for the mortgage or the, the lease payment on the building. Why don't you try number two on your own? How much should American Printing Company budget annually for one year for their salaried employees? They have 60 employees that make a total of $67,250 per week. Pause your video, calculate your answer, and when you're ready, push play, and we'll go through the correct answer together. Okay, so we take the total, um, we need to know um, how much they pay per month, right? So if we look at the example, it says that the salary that they pay is $67,250 per week. We need to get that into terms where we can multiply one month price times 12 months in a year. So the first step that I did before I could even get to our base equation down here was I took $67,250 and I multiplied it by 52 weeks in a year because every single week that's how much money the company has to write checks for. Once uh, we have that value, we can divide it by 12 months in a year and I came up with a total monthly cost to the company of $291,416.67. If you have difficulty understanding how I came up with that, please attend one of my office hours or come up to me during class and we can review that. Once I know that value, that's the monthly cost, I can then multiply it by 12 months in a year and get a total number of $3,497,000 that I need to budget for employee salaries for the entire year.